Hey, it's your man StyleCon coming at you today with another video and we're going to do a battle of the ratchet belts and if you watch any of my videos, I've done this before. Uh, I was looking to get a new belt buckle, reached out to Core, Core said, hey, look, instead of we just give you a belt buckle, we have a couple other belts we'd like you to uh, compare ours with. So I was like, great. And if you notice, I haven't cut any of these belts down as of yet. And the reason why I haven't done it is because I haven't made up my mind. The core belt I'm probably going to keep. I usually don't ask for thumbs ups in my videos. But the thing is, if you're interested in it, the Mio or the Comfort Click, I might be willing to, you know, do a, a little auction, sweepstakes, whatever it is, a free giveaway to you guys. If you are interested, just leave a little uh, thumbs up and I will make that happen. All right, now let's get into why I like ratchet belts so much over your standard belts. You know, sometimes you eat a big meal, you know, you want to let out your uh, belt buckle a little bit. You know, I like this because you can do it in increments instead of your standard belt, where it's like the holes are at one inch. So you might only need a half an inch or a quarter of an inch, and you can't adjust it like that. These, you can do that with. I like that you have no hole stretches. After you, Everybody knows after you've worn a belt so long, you get those little marks around the whole area. You don't have to worry about that. And if you want to switch out the color, say if you just want to buy one of the uh, core buckles, you can buy all different colors and you can interchange those. So that's nice instead of having to buy a different belt every single time. So that saves you money in the long run. And on that note, uh, Core did offer me a discount code. If you are interested, I'll leave a link in the description down below. It's StyleCon10. If you're interested, they'll give you 10% off of your purchase. Now, let's get into this battle. Now, we have three belts we're going to be looking at. The Core Essential. Uh, we have the Mio Merino. And then we have the Comfort Click. Now, they do vary in price. Low end, the Comfort Click, you're looking about... $20, you know, Target, Walmart, I have seen them less. Uh, the Mio running around $25, and then the Core at $50. But you do get that little discount, so I'd knock it down about $45. But it is the best of the belts. Now, I've tried these out for a week, you know, just putting it on the strap, pulling it, tugging it, just to see how well they would hold up. And now let's get into the battle itself. Now, me personally, I'm going to go with the core as the winner, but let's just look over some of the uh, features. We have the low end here, the comfort click. Yeah, that, that's kind of flimsy. I don't really like that. Now, don't get me wrong. I tried it. It does bite down into the leather. And this one sort of works off a of magnet. It's not like your standard ratchet belt. Then we have the Mio. Once again, that's a little on the flimsy side, if you ask me. And this one uses a push button. Now, if you try it out, it does feel flimsy. I'm not going to lie to you. you. Check it out for yourself, but it just that mechan the mechanism, it doesn't seem like it's going to last forever. All right, then we have the core. None of that. It's got a little tension to it. It doesn't flip around. I like the mechanism. It feels robust. That's the best way to put it. This thing feels like a tank. It seems like this would probably last forever. Then let's get into the belts themselves. Now, this is bonded leather, and it's man-made. And in the hand, it feels cheap to be quite honest. Does it look nice with the stitching? Yeah, I think that's really nice. It does have the marks where you can cut it to fit your waist. Uh, the, the track line is the shortest. Now, how much track do you really need? Me, I like more, but needless to say, this is only good for about seven inches. So the track, not that good. Now, we move up to the Mio. And you see how that even, it, it's just flimsy. It doesn't even hold its shape. Now this obviously is holding its shape. To me, that's piss poor quality leather. It won't hold its shape. Now this is the same type as bonded man-made leather, but it just feels premium compared to that. You have the stitching, which I really like. It gives a more high class look. Uh, the track is a little bit longer. You're looking about nine inches. 
And then, of course, you have the marks themselves where you need to cut it. And then we have the track line. Once again, it's holding its shape. This is full grain leather. I like the stitching. Once again, it gives a cleaner, more upscale look. The track is the longest of the three. It is 10 inches. Personally, I don't really need 10 inches, but you never know. You might gain some weight, lose some weight, which I have done. You lose 5, 10 pounds, a couple of inches can actually you know, make a difference. If you have that shorter one and you cut it down to... Uh, the, the comfort uh, click, you know, you cut it down and you gain 10 pounds, you know, you might have a problem. You may not be able to use it, but with this one, you know, you've got that extra three inches and once again, uh, has the marks where you can cut it. This is definitely the better quality of all three of these. Now, let's get into the packaging. Uh, the core comes with a nice little bag. I mean, I took the covering off for it, you know, it has an instruction booklet. And this is what I like most. It comes with this. If you want to put your belts in the closet, just clicks right in there. Push that to release it. That is really nice. I actually did a single video on this alone because I was like throwing my other belts around and having to hook them on the back of belt hangers and whatnot. This works out so much better. <laughs> the Mio itself. Really nice presentation. Uh, I'll give them that. Sorry, I'm doing this obviously from behind the camera. Real nice presentation. Instruction booklets, of course. And then it, it, they give you this, like key ring. Uh, leather feels, actually it doesn't even feel like leather. It feels like pleather. It's real cheesy. If I had a choice of the two, I'd rather have the belt hanger than this. But nice presentation. And then... The comfort click itself, you already know. For 20 bucks, you're not getting much of a presentation. Now, these all range in prices. I think I said that already. Comfort click is around 20. This is around 25. This is around 50. I'll give you a quick story. Uh, when I was younger, I used to go to pay less and buy my shoes. I got out of college. I didn't have a lot of money. And uh, the guy I worked for, you know, he noticed I had different shoes on all the time. He said, yeah, they keep wearing out and falling apart. He said, just buy yourself a pair of quality shoes. I said, yeah, you're, you're probably right. But it, it, I, I wasn't doing the math. When I did the math, I was buying shoes every three to six months. You know, 20, 30 bucks, 35 bucks. But that all added up. And I bought my first pair of Kohan. Now, don't get me wrong. Kohan is not the same shoe company as it used to be. Kohan really made great quality shoes. And with that, I still have those shoes to this day. It's been over 20 years. So there is some extra money involved with the core belt, but guess what? You're going to have a quality product that you can use for years. These other products, I'm not certain of. The Comfort Click, I think they had a video uh, on YouTube about how they were having problems with the mechanism in their belts. That's not a good thing, you know. Then this one, the, the buckle, like I said, the leather isn't the same grade. The buckle, is, it just, it doesn't feel of quality. I mean, if you had it in your hand, you would know what I'm talking about. Actually, I like the comfort click better when it feels like a better quality. It's got more weight to it. It feels sturdier, but not as sturdy as the core essential, but sturdy, needless to say. And then, of course... We'll just do this and see once you have it in there that's not going anywhere sturdy I like that really nice belt this one's actually sturdy too if I can get it to go in not a lot of play I mean, that way you have some play but that way no And then last but not least, the comfort click. Oh, you see that didn't even go in right. Like I said, it's, it's not a really good belt for the money. I mean, it holds, it's got a little play, but it's just, <laughs> look at that. 
it, it's just not good quality. I would not recommend buying this belt whatsoever. And on a final note, the core so far, the best belt I've tried is hands down the winner. If you're interested, there's going to be a link down below in the description for that discount. That's one great belt. I'd highly recommend it. And actually, I was talking about my Koan shoes. I still have my core belts, which I've had maybe two years now. They still look phenomenal. They look brand new. Once again, it's your man, StyleCon. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. If you have any questions, as usual, leave them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, and I will check you out in the next video.